Hi everyone. Here's a multiple response question. It asks, which country have you been before? In a previous video, I showed you how to answer this question, namely, count the number of uh, ticks that each respondent made. Now, another interesting question related to this is, how about finding which were the most popular combinations of ticks. For example, it could be like United States and Japan were the most popular. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So let's suppose we've got one question which has options called A, B and C. So these could have been countries, they could be like course modules that students pick and you want to know which are the most popular combination of course modules. So how do we find the most common combinations? All right, so first of all, each of these responses, they're dummy variables, they're coded zero if the category was not picked and one otherwise. So this first respondent picked C only, or ticked the C box only. The second one ticked A and C only. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to answer the question. We need a new variable, and that's going to code all the combinations, or different combinations of A, B, and C into different codes. Then we count them up. So I'm going to sh need to describe to you how to do that first, and here's how. So I'm going to create uh, an equation here. Let's call this code, the new code. I'm going to call it 1 times A plus 10 times B plus 20 times C. Well, so what this means is that if you are A, that means that it's a 1 there. B is 0 and C is 0, so let's do the first line. Well, let me start again. I've got the first line here. So if you are the first respondent, A is 0. So it will be 1 times 0, that's 0. B is 0, so 10 times 0 is 0. C is 1, 20 times C, that is 20. So then we can enter here. 20, and that would be C. So what about the code coming out as a, a 1? That would be if you are A only, and not B and not C. And 10? 10 would be if you are B only. Okay, so what's the other combination? Then it's 11. When would it be 11? It will be 11 if you are A and B. I hope you're getting this. So let me just fill in the rest of the code, because uh, if you've understood this, you can just verify that you get the same results when you do the coding. Okay, so I've coded up the rest of it, so you can verify that you get the same results. Before I move on, you might ask, well, where do you get 1, 10, and 20 from? Well, I just chose those numbers so that I get distinct codes for different combinations of the choices here. So you can just use, I suggest you choose them so that they are far apart. So here I chose 1, 10, and 20. If you've got other categories like DE and so on, if you've got more than three categories, you do the same thing for the code. All right, so we're going to now compute this for each of the observations. So to do that, we go transform, compute variable, All right, the target name, okay, let's call it count. New value, so I want one times A plus, and here I prefer you to use a keypad rather than the online keypad and then it's we're using 10 times B plus 20 times C right so now we have a new column and that's the counts, and these are the codes. So just to verify, so the first respondent, that is 
coded 20 because it's C only. Now, if you don't want to look at the numbers if you in your output, you want to actually look at what these numbers mean, you can just recode them. So I shall show you how. So this bit is optional. So where it's coded 1, that was A. Where it was coded, let's try again. Where it was coded 1, that's A. Where it was coded 10, that was B. So all we're doing is entering the code that I showed you on the previous sheet. Okay, so let me just fill in the rest because you've got the idea and then you again you can just see what it looks like when it's completed. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I've entered all the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven okay, entries. And now we want to look at the frequencies of these to C, which were the most popular combinations of the ABC. Analyze descriptive stats, frequencies. So move this count over to variables. That's by default on, clicked up and OK. And here's the answer result. So here are frequencies and here are the combinations and the most popular combination we can see is A, B and C with 36.8% right? followed by the combo A and C followed by A and so on. So I hope this shows you that this is a bit more useful than just counting the number of ticks that somebody has made. This shows you the number of ticks as well as which were the most popular combination and that's something that could be useful when you're reporting. Okay, so I hope that's been useful.